Welcome. This will be a short tutorial about a question one of our users asked. He wrote us that it would a cool idea to um, actually show how you can replace the hand controls if you grab something and use the TV remote as a tool to play and pause the TV. So basically what we are going to do is just a simple block out of the functionality to show you how I would approach this. And let's open up our framework. This is a clean start, so nothing is in there. In our experience folder, there should be a TV already. So we can just use this as an example. The TV here. And actually this is already set up correctly, so we don't need to change anything in there. Well, there's one thing in there, the gaze view is triggering the play right now, so we may want to turn this off, but this should actually be very simple. So if we just go in there, here you can see the, there's this component gaze view. We can just set this to none, so this is not triggering the TV anymore, because we want to trigger it with our remote control. And I created a new folder called Remote Tutorial. And let's create a new Blueprint Actor. So we are really starting from scratch here. And name it BP underscore remote. Let's open it up. And because I don't have a remote here right now, I'm going to use a A beautiful cube and this is my actually remote so I'm hoping you guys will use an actual remote and make something cool um, I'm just going to show you how you can make the functionality so let's compile it and drag it into our level to so I can fit a scale Let's make this bigger here. So something like this. Okay, let's compile it. And the next thing we want to add is we want to be able to actually pick this up. So I'm going to add the component grab to it. And here, yeah, I can, I can pick it up, that's fine. Um, I could set things like uh, the physics, if I drop it, it falls to the ground, but for now, it's okay if it's floating in the air, it's easier for me to pick it up here. So let's hit compile. And now we can already start to implement a functionality for this. So let's open up the event graph. We don't need the overlap and the tick here. We may want to use the begin play later on, but not now. The first thing we want is we want the event key input. And we want to set the component grab to snap and replace controls. So what this is basically doing is it says, okay, if you grab this actor, it snaps to your hand and it replaces the default controls you defined. So now we can use, for example, the trigger to turn the TV on and off. So make sure this is checked. And then the event is this one here. We have a branch, so this is, if I press the trigger, it's true, if I release it, it's false. So let's connect this here, and we only want to make a change if this is active, so if it is true. And then we want to make a switch on the key. So here we can basically define which key we want to, um, to use for the action. So for turning the TV on and off, I want to use the trigger. And now I need a reference for this TV here. So I'm going to add a new object. Let's call it TV. The variable type should also be our blueprint TV. Let's compile it and let's make it instance editable. So this way I'm able to select my remote in the viewport 
And here you can see I have this variable called TV. And if I hit this little pick actor here, I can just pick this TV. And now it's connected to, re to this reference. And basically this is very simple. So what I wanna do is I want to get this TV here and I want to use the interface trigger single because this is just a single trigger here. And I want to ha um, make this on the trigger and hit compile. So this should already be enough. Let's try it out in, in VR. So what you can see uh, is if I grab now, you can see it snaps to my hand and it's, <laughs> it's really huge. And if I press the trigger, you can see it's playing and if I press it again, it stops. Play, stop, play, stop. Okay, <laughs> so basically this is, um, the question is already answered. You can see that this is very simple and because I still have a few minutes left, um, let's go in there and actually add a few more functionalities to this. Um, what I want to do is I want to create a volume up and volume down. So first of all, I need to give the TV actual sound. So it doesn't have sound right now. You need to add the media sound component. And here on the media player, make sure to select the uh, actual video uh, media player that is connected to this TV. So in my case, it's this, this one here. And I hit compile. So now we're finished with the TV. And what I wanna do with the remote, let's have a look. I want when I, I'm currently using the Vive here. I want if I press the touch button upwards, I want to increase the volume. So a way to do this is let's actually make a new variable called volume. And let's set it to a float value. I could also do this in the TV and the clean way to do it is to do this actually in the TV and just trigger the volume up or volume down function. So maybe, yeah, it's a tutorial. I'm going to show you the, the right way to do it. So let's open up the TV again and give this one here a new variable called volume. And let's set it to one because our default value should be one. And what I want to do is if I increase the volume, I want to increase it by 0 0.1 and then set the volume again. What I want to do with this volume is actually set the volume multiply. to this new value here. So this is my function for volume up. Let's make a new function. Set function and open it up. And I wa also want to do the not only the increase, but the decrease in there. So I'm going to copy this. And here I don't want to edit, but I want to subtract it. You could do it this way. Or what I like more is to do it this way. So you instantly see that this is decreasing. Let's add a bool input. is volume. Okay. 
And if this volume is up, I want to execute the upper string here. And if it's false, I want to decrease it. So let's do this one here. And after it, I want to set the volume multiply. So now I have a very simple function where I can increase or decrease the volume um, regarding on what is set here. So let's hit compile. And the name is set function. So let's rename it set volume. And delete it. We don't need it here. We need it here. So what I want to do is once I hit the phase one, so basically my volume up button, I want to get a reference to TV and set volume. And for this, this is the upper one. So I want to increase the volume. And for my lower one, my face button three, I want to do the same. So also I want to set my volume here, but this time I uncheck this, so it's decreasing. So this is for increasing the volume and this is for decreasing. And let's do one quick addition to this because I want to display the volume on the remote. So let's add a simple text component here. Volume display. Let's center it and place it right here in the middle. Give it a dark color so we can actually see it and hit compile. And at, if I change the volume, I want to get the actual float value. And I want to set the text to this value. So I'm going to set text to this volume here. And let's also go in there and make a function out of this. So I can simply reuse it. and I call it update volume display. We want to call this function every time we change the volume. And we also want to set it at a begin place. So if, if this starts, it gets executed once. So let's drag it in here, hit compile and save. And now everything should be good to go. So let's try it out. So one thing you can already notice is there is a one. So the actual volume right now is one. Let's grab it. Okay, it's upside down. But if I hit the up button, you can see this is increasing. And if I hit the touchpad down, you can see it's decreasing. Let's play the movie. So we can actually hear the sound. And let's start increasing it. And now it really gets loud. So let's decrease it again. And stop the video. And you can see everything is working the way it, it should. So to recap, this was actually a very simple task here. So we give this a component grab. This way we are able to actually grab this component, uh, pull it up. The next thing that is important is the snap and replace controls. So we tell Unreal that we actually want to use our own controls here to trigger some specific effects. The one that was triggering this play and pause is this one here. And the other one, we did a very simple 
function in the TV to increase or decrease the volume of the TV. And now you can really go in there and not like me here with a simple text that was also flipped. So something like this should be better. Um, but you can really make a beautiful display for the volume and you can also make little buttons where you can press them to increase or decrease the volume. So really be creative with this. And um, yeah, this is all the functionality you really need in order for this to work. So I hope this helps um, understanding this concept and I really hope hoping you doing some great stuff with this. Thanks for watching.